Do you find yourself overwhelmed with photo files? Well, I do. Do you spend hours looking for that one photo? I do. Would you like to manage your growing collection of photo files? I do. Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Very simple in no time at all. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell so you'll get notified the next time I post a video. All right, let's jump into Xire now. All right, so here we are in Xire. Let me just kind of show you around here. Okay, so here you've got your folders and here you've got results. And then here you have databases, which I've got at the moment, it shows you how many files or photos you have in here. I have 38,141 pictures in here so far. Uh, recently added was 15,680. Let me just show you. I did two separate downloads. So if you want to take control of your out of control photo library, you can try Xire for 14 days free trial. And then if you decide that you want to buy it, you can use um, my code Angie Birmingham and you will get 15% off your purchase. Uh, there's a link below for your 14 day, 14 day free trial and also the code to get 15% off. So let me just tell you a little bit about my experience with Xire. So I am currently working on finishing up my book, but I'm trying to find photos, specific photos that I've taken for the book when I've been out on different adventures and such, and I couldn't find them. I thought I had filed them under book or in certain files that so I could easily go back and find them. Well, I couldn't remember what I filed them under. So anyways, long story short, I was searching the internet for an easy program to organize all of my photos and then I could type in keywords and search. And I came across this Xire and come to find out that Xire and Luminar Neo were together in the same booth at the PPA convention that I was just at. So I got to visit with Xire and they're great people. And this program is just blown me away. I just, it's just so easy to use and I love how I'm able to find images that would have been lost in my probably half a million images, which I'm working on reducing my library by deleting a bunch of duplicates, which this program also does. It'll show you all your duplicates. And here is screen snapshots of the status and how long it took. Um, oh, this was on my other computer. I had done um, 1,004, I'm sorry, 146,315 files. And that was all of one of my hard drives and 37 of the photos could not be analyzed for some reason or not and the amount of time that it took to do that many photos was only about three and a half hours which was amazing in my opinion and then the download that I just did took it 24 minutes to do 15,745 photos and that is the download that we are going to use as our example today. That was my Salbar trip that we downloaded. And you can see here, it analyzed this um, Fillmore bird. So it's got it under animal, bird, colorless, low contrast, and it has it classified as a seagull, which is pretty good. I guess Fillmore's are probably in the seagull in the seagull family, even though technically seagull is not a seagull, it's just a gull, but we won't go there. Um, so let's see, we want to do a search. Let's go up here. 
We could search by text. So we could type in polar bear. And right here on the settings, you can choose. Uh, we'll do pretty strict. And maximum number of pictures that it will come back with in the result is 50,000. Hope I don't have 50,000 pictures of a polar bear. All right, let's do the search. Drum roll. And voila. I have 12,000 pictures of polar bears in my collection from Salvar. If you haven't already watched it, it's a kind of an interesting video on my YouTube channel. It was part one of our Salvar trip. Haven't had an opportunity yet to finish up the other parts, but I most certainly will. So yeah, it did a pretty good job coming back with polar bears. So let's do another search. Let's search for, let's search for people. So we're gonna start off with any people. And we'll start the search. There we go. We got people sitting around a campfire. We got Jeff and I. We got me. And I'm not sure who that guy is. Oh, my daughter in a in a wagon in a coffin. So let's see here. Let's look for. Actually, let's go back. And let's not do whole database. Let's do just the current selection. No, nope. I guess I got to go back to the folder. I'm still learning this along with y'all. So we'll go here. We'll go cell bar. And then we'll go up here and search for people. There we go. Current view folder and collection. There we go. So we got Jason. We got a boat full of people. Let's see. Let's see if we can pick out a face. We're gonna go for... We're gonna go and we're gonna try to find Amy. So let's give that a shot. See, oh, there we go did a really good job of finding her amongst all of these pictures. No, that's not her. That's not her. But I would say overall it did a really good job. All right, so let's jump back over here to folder. We'll go into this one go into pictures that are on my computer and we'll go into keyword search. So you got animals, architecture, drink. We can find a drink. Let's try to find a cocktail on my computer. See if I have a picture of a cocktail. Look at that. I've got pictures of cocktails on my computer. Okay, all right, let's try something else. Let's go keyword, let's, mm, let's go nature. Oh, here we go, astronomy. We'll get rid of cocktails. And let's start our search. There we go. There's some nighttime pictures of mine. Some of these aren't mine. I don't know where these came from. Interesting, but they're on my computer. All right, so anyways, so to download a file, you go right here to add, go over here to browse, and let's go over here to my 
let's go to this hard drive and we will put in let's put this let's do this here I don't think there's a lot of pictures in that folder but we'll see so it goes through a little uh, preparing goes through one of five steps okay now it's gonna find the photos collecting all the photos definitely had a lot more photos in that file than I thought I did okay so now it's going through and it is registering the 8900 I'm sorry 8891 photos and in the very last step it goes through and analyzes every single one of those photos so while we're letting it do this I just want to tell you a little bit about um, Xire. It will find faces, subjects, locations, and even emotions on people's faces. You want to just find a beach picture? Just type in beach and Xire will instantly present you with them. When it goes through and analyzes all of the pictures, the very last step that it does, it goes through and does smart tagging like you saw there on the uh, Fillmore that uh, had seagull and bird and animal and that's what it does. It goes through every single one of the images. It does it fairly quick too and puts tags on each one of the photos of what it is. And if you're going through your um, your photos and you notice that it's been tagged in in properly you can actually just delete that tag. While it's going through this, I will show you an example. So we're gonna find it by keywords. We're gonna go in here to animals. We're gonna go mammal. And we're gonna go and try to find a, here we go, raccoon. Search. Okay, so there's some raccoons. So if you click on raccoon, it has it labeled as an animal, colorless, mammal, predator, raccoon. So let's see if there's anything in here that is not a raccoon. Oh, here we go. This, this is definitely not a raccoon. So we'll just go in here and we will delete that and we'll just type in badger since that's what it is. Oh, I guess I gotta wait until the current task is done. That's my problem is I always try to get ahead of myself. So that there is definitely not a raccoon either or those. So there's a couple of things in here that you could untag. That's definitely not a raccoon, that's a bear. Let's just go ahead and fast forward through this. Keywords. We're gonna go into, well, we're not gonna find a badger. I know there's a bobcat in here, so let's see. I'm gonna search. We'll just search for cat. Let's see what it comes up with. Roadrunner. There it is. There's the bobcat. So we'll go into these roadrunners here and we will remove the big cat, the leopard, the mammal. I guess it's kind of a predator. They eat snakes. All right, so let's just go in here and we'll select all of these Roadrunner shots and we'll do the same to all of them. We're gonna remove Big Cat, Cheetah, not a hawk, and not a leopard, not a mammal, it's a bird. Okay, and we'll check these so Bobcat is not a cheetah. Kind of looks like a little mini cheetah though, doesn't he? 
All right, so that is your Xire. Make sure you catch this video here. And if that's not the video you want to watch, try this one. Catch you on the next video. Have a great day.